We are going to solve this problem using dynamics of uniform circular motion. We have a student swings a, a ball. The mass of the ball is 300 grams or 0.3 kilograms. This ball is tied to the rope and uh, the student swings a ball in vertical circle. Radius of the circle is one meter. So the question is, to calculate the speed of the ball in order to just negotiate the top of the circle. Then we need to find the tension when the speed at the bottom V2 is 3 times V1. We are going to use Newton's law to solve this problem. We have at the top of the circle, say at the top of the circle, We have sigma f equals to the mass times acceleration. Uh, the direction of the acceleration, last time remember when we have circular uniform motion, the acceleration is centripetal, is toward the center. That means the force also, we say by definition, is the mass times acceleration. And this net force is centripetal also. It will be f c equals m times centripetal acceleration. So the net force, which is centripetal force, and the sum of forces at the top, we have the tension, we have the weight of the object, and this is equals to the centripetal force. Remember, the net force means the total forces applied on the object is the mass times acceleration, uh, which is the centripetal force. The centripetal force is the net force. So equals to the mass times centripetal acceleration. Now we take the direction of the acceleration is downward. We have tension also is downward and mg. So if we take the arrows off, it will be all the, the forces in the same direction as the centripetal force which is the mass times centripetal acceleration. We said the centripetal acceleration by definition is the square of the speed divided by the radius of the circle. The radius of the circle R, we said, is one meter. But the question is to find the speed of the object at the top of the circle, and the object is just negotiating the top of the circle. What does mean negotiating the top of the circle means we are negotiating tension. We negotiate tension means the tension is negligible. We'll give it zero. So in this case, what we see here, the tension is zero plus mg equals to mv squared over r. r times g equals the square of the speed the speed at the top will be just the square root of Rg. We say the radius is 1 meter. It will be 1 meter times 9.8 meter per second squared. And this is equals 3.13 meters per second. Remember, meter times meter is meter squared per second squared. The square root of meter squared per second squared is just meter per second. So this is what will be the speed at the top. Now, the second question is to find the distension at the bottom when the speed at the bottom v2 equals 3 v1. That means when the speed is 3 times 3.13 meter per second. In this case, v2 should be 9.39 meters per second. So we need to find the tension at the bottom. We said the velocity at the bottom V2 is 9.39, or we just keep 9.4 meters per second. This is the velocity at the bottom. We call it V or V2. Now, we need to study the object at the bottom. We use the newton Sagan law. Remember, the acceleration is centripetal. And the force, the net force is centripetal, which is the mass times centripetal acceleration. That means the direction of force is toward the center. 
Now, when we use the Newton Sega law, the f sigma f equals the mass times acceleration. And sigma f, we have the sum of forces applied on the object is the tension plus mg equals to the mass times centripetal acceleration. Now, we need to solve the algebraic value of these forces. To, to go with algebraic value, we need to look to the direction of the acceleration. Any force is in the direction of acceleration is positive. Any force that against the direction of the acceleration will be negative. In this case, the tension and the acceleration are in the same direction. And mg is against in the force and the centripetal acceleration. That means sigma f equals to tension minus mg equals m times centripetal acceleration. And centripetal acceleration, we said, by definition, centripetal acceleration by definition is the square of the speed over the radius of the circle. We know the radius of the circle is one meter. This radius is one meter. So, and the acceleration is v squared over r. So the tension T will be the mass mg plus the mass times centripetal acceleration. It will be the mass times acceleration of gravity plus centripetal acceleration, which is V squared over R. So this is the tension. Now the tension will be the mass. We say the mass of the ball is given uh, we said the mass of the ball M is 0 0.3 kilograms. The tension will be 0 0.3 kilograms factor of 9.8 meters per second squared plus the square of the speed, which is 9.4 meters per second squared divided by the radius, which is 1 meter. So the tension at the bottom is 29 or four newtons. Thank you.